The Ethereum 5 here with me was the first fiber hive Bordeaux blend in South Africa. It's a left bank Bordeaux style wine, simply meaning that it's dominated by Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, for us, the next biggest variety would be Malbec, and then it's supported by Cabernet Franc, Merlot, and a little bit of Petit Bordeaux. This wine comes from our slightly warmer aspect, so west facing, so it gets all that afternoon sun. And that's what we want to reflect in this bottle of wine. So you want to get all that warmth, that giving nature of that aspect. Um, Cabernet Sauvignon, like I said, takes a leading role in this. Um, so very classic, classically styled, um, very fine tannins. So when you smell the wine, again, you get this really layer of dark fruit supported by red fruit. Um, you get this little bit more tertiary nuances um, coming from, this, from the slightly newer French oak barrels. The wine, you can smell, it's got a little bit more volume already. Um, it's, it always sounds funny when you say you can smell the volume, but it, it's something that you can actually smell. You can smell that little bit more richness. And that's exactly what you want translated to the palate as well. So when you take a sip of this wine, and I can't stop myself, I'm just going to indulge for a moment. It perfectly actually translates to what you're finding in there. So you just go to your old mouth, it's got this nice little bit of dryness that just wants you go, want to go back for another sip. It's got this richness, almost this little nuances of a little bit of fruit sweetness. Um, and again, you get that layers of black fruit, red fruit, and slight minerality. The wine that really you can, should just enjoy on its own. Um, but when it comes to fruit pairings, it's a little bit more classical in style. So you can actually pair it with a little bit more flavorsome but leaner meats. So something like um, fillet works really well, sirloin works really well. Like I said, just a glass of its own goes down so well.